Merhaba arkadaşlar, hepiniz Ayıf Detoks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün İngiltere'nin en iyi ilk 10 üniversitesinden Loughborough Üniversitesi'de eğitim ve yaşamı Charlotte'den dinliyor olacağız. Ve transferlerinizi sağ alt köşede Questions bölümünden yönlendirmeyi unutmayın. Yes Charlotte, the stage is yours now. Fantastic. Thank you everybody and thank you for coming to hear about Loughborough University. So today I'm going to give you an introduction to the university, the, the sort of things that we can study at Loughborough, um, a little bit about why I love the university, entry requirements and scholarships. Um, so my name is Charlotte Davison. I am one of the international officers at the university and I am the country manager for Turkey. So I will be your main point of contact if you have any questions, anything that I can help with, any issues. Um, and I'm always happy to help and share, share my experiences. Um, I also studied at Loughborough myself. Um, so overall, as a student and a member of staff, I've been at Loughborough for nearly just over 10 years now. And I studied history and geography at Loughborough, um, but we have a whole range of different things that you can study as well. So a quick overview of the university. Um, and what I'm going to do today is tell you a bit about Loughborough and then open the floor for questions and answers. Um, so please do pop any of those in the chat box um, if I can help. So the Loughborough University um, is probably one of the hardest words in the English language. Uh, so Loughborough is much better spelt L-U-F-B-R-A. It's Loughborough University. Um, and we have been teaching on our campus in Loughborough for over 100 years. We were founded in 1909 um, as a college of science and technology. And we have grown over the last 100 years into a multidisciplinary university with over 20,000 staff and students from across the world studying on two different campuses. So we have our campus at Loughborough, which is in the East Midlands. And we also have a postgraduate campus in London, which opened about five years ago. And over the last hundred years, lots of stuff has happened. The university has grown massively um, and we've grown into a centre for international excellence in research, in sport, in student experience. Um, and we've got lots going on on campus. Now, if any of you have been to Loughborough, do let me know. But Loughborough is not a tourist destination in the UK. It's unlikely somewhere that you'd visit if you were on holiday in the UK, unless you had friends or family or connections to the university. But the university is set in Loughborough itself, which is a town near Leicester, as our nearest big city, or near Nottingham, about one hour and ten minutes from London. Loughborough, I live in Loughborough and I have done for ten and a half years. I bought my house here a few years ago and I really love it. There's lots of stuff going on in the town. It's very friendly, very fun. Lots of shops, restaurants, nightlife, cinemas, a really friendly place to walk and surrounded by nature as well. So best of both worlds. And then we also have our London campus, which is on the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park um, in East London. We were invited to open this campus as part of the Olympic legacy, so after the 2012 London Olympics, um, which is located um, next to Stratford, in Stratford International Train Station and the Westfield Stratford City Shopping Centre, which is one of the biggest shopping centres in Europe. And this here is a picture of our Loughborough campus, which is absolutely the main reason why I chose to study at Loughborough. I studied my undergraduate at the university, so I Got to visit the university before I was looking at where to study and I studied at the main Loughborough campus and I absolutely loved it. There's so much stuff going on on campus, um, lots to get involved with. It's a really, really friendly environment um, and I love it and I still love it 11 years after I first visited. So if any of you are travelling around the UK or you want to come and see the university, um, you're very welcome to come and visit. We've got lots of opportunities for you to visit and I'm happy to give any students a campus tour as well. And our Loughborough campus is really your home away from home. It's got everything you could possibly need on that campus. Um, everything from a doctor's surgery, a dentist, a pharmacy and a beautician's to student accommodation, shops, cafes, restaurants, nightclubs, cinemas, lots of sports facilities, um, study spaces. You could move onto campus and never need to leave. The picture of the campus shows lots of our facilities 
Um, if you were to drop the picture down and carry on walking kind of underneath the picture, you get to Loughborough Town Centre in about 10, 15 minutes. Um, and in between the town centre and the, the university campus, there's just lots of private student accommodation as well. So it's a really, really studenty town. The university massively dominates, and that means there's lots of things for students to get involved in when you're here. At our London campus, um, I, the university has its premises in what was the broadcast centre for the 2012 Olympics. And we actually share that building with BT Sport. Uh, so if any of you watch coverage of football in the UK, for example, or any British coverage of um, sporting events, a lot of that will be filmed and presented in the same building that the Loughborough campus is. And there's lots of connections and opportunities to get involved there as well. East London is a really up and coming area. Um, it makes it a little bit cheaper to live than central London, but you're still only about 10 minutes on the tube into central London. Um, but it's a bit cheaper out here and it's a real hub for enterprise, entrepreneurship, small businesses, um, lots of stuff going on. You can see in that picture the old Olympic Stadium, which is now West Ham football ground. Um, it's a really, really nice area. Uh, because the university campus is only about six years old, it's really new, it's really modern, it's really vibrant, it's built to really encourage social studying um, and I think it's a fantastic place. Um, I visited campus a few times and it makes me really keen to do my master's study there. Um, and of course you're super close to central London and everything that London has to offer as well. Now Loughborough is a top 10 in all of the UK league tables. And we're very famous for our academic achievements. Um, Loughborough is very famous for its research. Um, we're very intensive in our research across a range of different disciplines, which I will talk about in a moment. Um, and our research is known globally for being world changing. So we've got some fantastic different research projects going on across all of our different departments, which are really making a difference. And that means that whether you're studying at undergraduate level, at postgraduate level, or whether you're looking at doing a research degree with us, you'll be working alongside academics who are world leading in their discipline. You will be working with researchers who are really at the forefront, making changes um, in the world in whatever subject area you're studying at. And that's fantastic at whatever subject level you're studying at as well. And we've also got a lot of our subject areas which are ranked in the top 100 or top 50 in the world as well. For example, we are first in the world in the QS World Rankings for sport and sports related subjects. Um, we're top 50 for media and communications, top 100 for a lot of our engineering programmes as well. Loughborough is also very famous for its student experience. Um, and whether you're coming as an undergraduate, postgraduate or PhD student, it's really important that you remember that you're choosing your home for that time as well. Um, and that is both our Loughborough and our London campuses. And Loughborough does really, really well in lots of metrics to measure student experience. The university takes it really seriously that you will have a good time whilst you're studying, that you will be able to develop as a person, engage, have fun, enjoy where you're living um, and develop your employability etc as well. So we're always first or second or third in the National Student Survey which measures, measures student satisfaction. Um, we are the overall winner of the Times Higher Education Student Experience Awards. Um, we win lots of awards for our university accommodation and there is a lot of stuff to do. On our Loughborough campus we have our Students Union which is one of the biggest in the UK. Um, and whatever you like to get involved with outside of your studies, there is stuff there to support you too. So we have over 130 different societies, everything from our Turkish society through to our hot air ballooning society, our skydiving society through to the Islamic society, through to debating society, through to the big food society, which is where they made when I was a student, they made a pizza that was the size of our dining table, um, used to make massive food, essentially. Um, so if you like eating, that's a society for you. But there's something for everyone to get involved with. We have a big media centre within our students' union, so our own TV channel, radio station, magazine, newspaper. We do a lot of volunteering and a lot of charity work as well. Um, 
lots of opportunities to get involved in leadership, in the democracy elements of running the University Students' Union. And Loughborough is also very famous for sports as well, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a bit. But what can you study at Loughborough? So Loughborough started off life as a science and engineering institution. Um, and we are still very famous for those areas. Um, we have three schools of engineering. Um, so we have our Wilson School of Mechanical, Electrical and Manufacturing Engineering, um, which includes within there, um, we've also got mechatronics um, and different subject areas at undergraduate and postgraduate within there. We have our School of Aeronautical, Automotive, Chemical and Materials Engineering, and we have our School of Architecture, Building and Civil Engineering programmes. So we have within those departments around 23 different undergraduate engineering programmes and we have a range of different postgraduate options too. And we've got lots of labs and study spaces which make really good PhD opportunities too. Also within science, we have our School of Science with our departments of Chemistry, Computer Science, Maths and Physics. And again, different courses, artificial intelligence, pharmaceutical chemistry, different areas of interest. And we have our School of Sport, Exercise and Health Sciences, which teaches a range of sports science programmes, sports management, sport business, um, but also biosciences and psychology. So we still retain, remain really, really strong in the science and engineering field, lots of different courses and the facilities are fantastic. We have on the Loughborough campus our STEM lab, which opened a few years ago, uh, which is for all STEM students to use. We've got labs um, within each of the different departments. For example, Rolls-Royce have research labs within aeronautical and automotive engineering. Different areas of mechanical engineering are sponsored by different companies. Um, we have anechoic chambers. We've got an igloo where you can control the temperature. Fantastic research facilities which are available for all students to use. But we've expanded over the years and we're no longer just a university of science and engineering. As I mentioned, I came and studied history and geography at Loughborough. Um, so I sat within the School of Social Sciences and Humanities um, and within that school we have departments of Geography and Environment, of Politics, History and International Relations, Communications and Media, um, and Social and Policy Studies which includes areas such as Criminology, Sociology and we also have English and Publishing. We've got our School of Business and Economics which is triple accredited, um, offers a range of different undergraduate and postgraduate options um, from accounting through to marketing through to international business, um, economics and banking, um, up to our executive MBA. And then we have on our Loughborough campus also our School of Design and Creative Arts, um, which has two fantastic facilities. We've got our art school and we have our design school, um, which are both huge and really, really well ranked. So those are what you can study at our Loughborough campus. And if you want any more information about any of the programmes or subject areas, drop a message in the chat um, or have a look on our website and I'd be very happy to tell you more about any of our subject areas. And then at the Loughborough University London campus, we teach a whole different range of subjects. Um, so we've got a range of different institutes down there which really focus on their area of expertise. Um, so it's a different set of courses. So we've got the Institute for Design Innovation, the Institute for Digital Technologies, an Institute for Diplomacy and International Governance, which is really popular with Turkish students. We've got an Institute for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, International Management, which has a particular focus on developing economies, we have media and creative industries, and also sports business. So lots of different postgraduate programmes and PhD opportunities at the London campus. And the London campus is really novel in its approach. We have kind of looked at traditional masters and we've changed those a little bit. So all of our masters at the London campus um, offer a collaborative project within your first semester. So you'll work in a group on a real life industry project set by um, a local industry. That could be a small local business, which is in the Plexal hub across the road from us. Or it might be a larger business such as Chelsea Football Club have been involved or the NHS um, who will set a problem and ask our, our teams to use the knowledge from their degree to research that to help solve the problem um, and to work with the company on that. So within your degree you're getting real life industry-led teaching and real life problem solving. 
It's also possible as part of your degree, instead of doing a dissertation, to do an industry project, um, a placement um, instead of a dissertation. So that's an option as well. And the themes of employability and entrepreneurship really run through everything that happens at the London campus. Um, and it's really, there's about 2000 students down at our London campus. Um, so it's a smaller environment, but lots of stuff going on, lots of student support, and it's a really cool space to study in. We focus a lot on careers and employability as well. Um, and we are first in the UK for careers and employer student connections in the 2020 graduate employability rankings. Um, I don't have the updated 2021 rankings for that yet. Uh, but our teams work really, really hard on this. Whether you are an undergraduate student or a postgraduate student, um, and you are a member of our careers team for a minimum of three years after graduation as well. So I've talked about the different facilities. All of our courses will offer links to industry within your um, teaching. A lot of our, almost all of our academics will have links to um, international companies who they can connect you with, teaching real life problems on those degrees. We have one of the largest UK careers fairs. Um, we have up to 250 companies come onto campus, talk to you about your uh, employment possibilities, what jobs they offer, how to apply. And our careers team as well will help you whether you want to stay in the UK on the graduate immigra immigration visa route or whether you plan to return to Turkey and look for employment in Turkey. We'd help you either way um, and give our advice and support and connect you with employers. For all of our undergraduate students, um, there is the opportunity to do a work placement year on that program as well, which is a really, really good opportunity. And um, whether it's a formal work placement as part of an undergraduate course, or whether it is a um, part-time internship or a, a summer internship or part-time work, our careers team would be happy to help you um, find something to support your studies. You can't talk about Loughborough without talking about sport. And this is one of the things that Loughborough is really, really famous for. So some of you may be sitting there knowing that you have a passion for sport and you want to either study sport or play sport. Um, and Loughborough is number one in the, in the world in the QS rankings for sport related subjects and has been for five consecutive years. So our teaching of sport is really, really strong. But Loughborough is also well known for performance sports. Um, so we have a lot of international sporting bodies, international athletes competing, training with us on campus. Um, so we have, for example, England swimming in our Olympic swimming pool. We've got England cricket in our cricket centre, British athletics in our high performance athletics centre, British weightlifting in our performance gym. And because of this, some of the facilities that we have on campus are absolutely fantastic. So no matter what sport you're interested in, we've got facilities to support you. And that is whether you are looking to play internationally at elite level or whether you're a little bit more like me. I like sport, but I'm not particularly good at sport. I'm not particularly talented, but I enjoy it. So I was never going to be competing in a sport, but I do it for fun. Um, but our student athletes are really successful. There is the British Universities and Colleges um, Championships, which is called Bucks, um, which is between all the universities and colleges across the UK in every different sport. And that's been running for 40 years and Loughborough has won it for 40 years. We've won it every year that it's been going. Um, but if you want to get into a sport, there is the opportunity to get into sport at whatever level you're playing, whether that's elite, performance or just development or just recreational. We've got lots of um, opportunities to get involved in sport um, between into hall sport, for example, which is just for fun. We have a scheme called My Lifestyle, which is just turn up and play sport. And there's also opportunities to get involved with the background to sport. So we have a coach and volunteering academy if you're interested in coaching. We have scouting qualifications if you're looking at being a talent scout. We do um, sports physio courses, sports massage programs. Um, we have sports media opportunities as well. So lots of opportunity to get involved in sport. But if you're sitting there thinking that you hate sport, but you want to come and study something else at Loughborough, you don't have to be sporty to come to Loughborough. One of my best friends when I was a student, she was a graphic design student. She had the room next to me in halls and she didn't do anything related to sport. She 
never went near a sports pitch in her entire time at Loughborough and she still absolutely loved it. So if you like sport, that's great. But if you don't, you don't have to be sporty to come to Loughborough. We have a growing international community on our campus as well. So we have over 18,000 students across the two campuses and over 3,000 international students um, from over 150 different countries. And the support at both campuses for international students is really strong. Um, so everything from you listening to me today, I will give you my contact details so you have the support of me and my colleagues within the international office before you even apply to Loughborough. We will then help you through your application, help you through your decision making processes and hopefully your um, application and accepting your place at Loughborough to arriving onto one of our campuses. We pick students up from the airport, we run through departures, we'll introduce you to other students coming from Turkey so you can make friends before you even travel to the UK. And then once you're on one of our campuses, we have international support advisors um, who will help you with all the things that are just slightly more difficult for you as an international student than for someone like myself who grew up in the UK. Things like opening a bank account, a mobile phone contract, um, anything that you're struggling with, we have international support advisors there for you. And then within the um, international section within the Students' Union, uh, there's the International Student Network, um, there's the Turkish Society, there's the Islamic Society, um, then we have set things like International Day, um, opportunities to promote our international students on campus. Entry requirements, if you're interested in studying with us, are undergraduate um, tend to be between three Bs and A star AA at A levels, 29 to 38 points in the IB, or at least 80% GPA in the high school diploma. Um, we also look for um, 6.5 in IELTS or equivalent, and we would accept students' applications for undergraduate through UCAS, um, and if students are achieving the equivalent of three A's, 87% or 37 points in the IB, they would automatically be considered for a 25% scholarship. For postgraduate students, um, most of our courses would look for the equivalent of a 2-1, um, but some would accept a high 2-2, so 55% um, or equivalent GPA. And if you look on each programme on our website, it will tell you what the entry requirements are. And again, there is a 6.5 IELTS um, requirement for those courses. Again, for our postgraduate students, we have automatic scholarships. Um, so for students achieving the equivalent of a first class degree, there is a 20% scholarship. For those achieving the equivalent of a 2-1, there is a 10% scholarship. Um, and for our MBA programmes, there are 25 to 40% scholarships available too. At our London campus, we do also have five Dean's Award scholarships. Um, and these are for students who have an interest in entrepreneurship, who own their own business or have real goals for what they want to do when they graduate and why they want their degree. Um, so students have to apply for these scholarships. And we offer five every year, which are fully funded degree programmes. Um, and it would be amazing if we could get some Turkish students applying and winning our Dean's Award scholarships. For postgraduate tour applications, um, this is direct to the university through our application portal on our website, um, and it's totally free to apply. For postgraduate research for PhD applications, um, we have a range of funded PhD opportunities. And if you look on our website, you'll be able to see the different funded projects that we have available and we advertise these um, students can apply for them and they change all the time so if you've got an interest uh, for a PhD um, you can have a look on our website at the different options um, otherwise if you're looking at a PhD and you have your own research area uh, you can get in contact with our doctoral college or with myself and we can help to suggest a research supervisor and help you with your application um, for postgraduate research. For undergraduate and postgraduate talk, we have intakes at the end of September and for postgraduate research, we have intakes in September, January and April. Uh, so different opportunities to join the university. 
So if that interested you and you'd like to find out more, we've got virtual open days um, coming up. So for postgraduate students, it's on the 2nd of March. Um, you, that is your chance to hear from our academics, find out more about our programmes, speak to our current students, um, find out more about the university. There's virtual tours on there as well. Um, but also we've got webinars, panels, taster lectures on our websites as well. Um, and I will be travelling out to Turkey at the end of April um, and I'm very, very happy to meet with you um, or to meet with you online. Uh, so my contact details are on the screen there. Uh, my name is Charlotte. If you scan that QR code, that will register you for email updates for things going on for Turkish students. So invitations to our open days, invitations to webinars or activities and invitations to meet with myself. Um, but you've also got my email address there if you'd like to ask me any questions um, over email or book a one-to-one -one appointment. Um, and of course, I will be taking questions um, right now as well. Um, so I hope that kind of piqued your interest in Loughborough. I really, really love the university. I've really enjoyed my time here as a student and as a member of staff. Um, and I'd really, really love to see lots of you applying to Loughborough as well. Um, so please take a note of my contact details. Uh, but if you have any questions, please do pop those in the chat box and I will answer those now. And I'm just loading up the chat box. I can see that we do have some questions. Okay, so we've had a question come in about employment rate of international students, particularly Turkish students. I don't have the exact answers, particularly for Turkish students, um, but I know that our employment rate across the university is 96% overall, our employment for further study within six months. Um, and what we say is if students want to stay in the UK after they graduate, we now have the graduate visa, um, which allows students to stay for up to two years while they're finding a job. Um, but as long as you engage with our careers team, you book yourself some appointments, you go to the networking opportunities that are offered at both of our campuses, we would very much help you to find a job. Um, so we're not going to be able to give you a job, but as long as you work with our careers team, um, our students are very successful in finding employment in the UK after they graduate. So I've got a question about whether we have any dual degree diploma programmes with American universities. Um, we don't have any dual degree programmes at the moment, um, but we do accept some transfer students. So if you're looking at transferring across or we do have study abroad options as well. So we have students come in on exchange um, or um, as a visiting student, but we don't do any dual degree programmes, I'm afraid. The next question is, what are the IB requirements for studying economics? Um, so for economics, we would look for 37 points in the IB overall. It's one of our most competitive programmes at the university. Um, and we would look for 666 in your higher level subjects, but we don't mind what subjects that you take. So there's no higher level maths requirements, for example. You can take any subject as your higher level as long as you get 37 points overall. Um, we do have a maths GCSE or equivalent, um, which could be met by achieving a minimum of five in your standard level maths. Um, but if you've got any particular questions about um, entry requirements, drop me an email um, or have a look on our website. So for IELTS, our requirement is 6.5 overall with no subtests less than 6. Um, if you have 6.5 overall and a 5.5 and one subtest, normally we would either require you to take an alternative English test or retake the IELTS. Um, or we do have a six week English test as well, um, six week English course, which can be taken either on campus um, or online um, for students who haven't quite met our English language requirements. 
And those English language qualifications um, that we do, um, the, the pre-central English programmes are really popular for students who just want to develop their confidence in English before studying a degree. Um, so even students who have met the requirements, we have some of those come on six week pre-central English programme as well. Okay, so we've got another question about working um, in the UK. So at the moment, the British government's visa for students looking to work in the UK after graduation um, offers two years of work or two, two years in the UK to secure a job which sponsors you to stay. So you've got two years to find employment and then after those two years, um, your employer can sponsor you on a standard visa and you can stay in the UK. And so you have two years after graduating to find a job which will allow you to stay in the UK. Um, and that was brought in last year, I believe. I think we're either in the first or second year of that scheme. Um, so that's relatively new for the UK uh, because we do want to keep the best of our talent, the best of the students that are coming to study with us. We want you to stay in the UK. Um, that'd be fantastic. So yeah, those options are there for you now. It's a two year work permit initially. And once you secure jobs, your employer will be able to sponsor you to stay in the UK. Yeah, so actually I didn't mention how much tuition fee was. Um, this will vary depending what subject you are studying, which of our courses. Um, and that starts at about £19,000 per year um, and for um, classroom based subjects, goes up to about £25,000 per year um, for some of our courses. If you have a look on our website um, for each um, course, you'll be able to see the tuition fee for each programme on that subject page. Yes, yeah, so Ida asked if we have transfer exchange programmes. We do. Um, so we offer both incoming and outgoing exchange students. Um, so students that are studying at Loughborough who want to go and study overseas as part of their degree can do so. Equally, we do welcome visiting students um, to the university as well. Um, for transfer at undergraduate level, we do offer some transfers for students into our the second year of our degree programme. Um, and what we would do, that would be on a case by case basis. And we would want to make sure that what you have studied within the first year of your degree matches up to what um, we teach in the first year of our course. Um, so if you're interested in transferring into the second year of a programme, you've started a degree programme elsewhere, drop me an email um, and I'd be happy to help. Uh, negotiate that with our admissions team for you. Yeah, so scholarships, Loughborough has our own scholarship scheme. Um, so 25% for undergraduate students or um, up to 20% for postgraduate taught programmes at the Loughborough campus, up to 40% for MBA. And we do have some fully funded scholarships at our um, London campus. Um, but there are also, we do have students that come on the Commonwealth Scholarship or as Chieveling Scholars. Um, so there are external scholarship schemes as well. And on our website, if you Google Loughborough, scholarship opportunities, we list lots of different schemes that you may wish to apply to um, for fully funded scholarship schemes. Okay, I've had a couple of questions come in about PhD programmes and the um, requirements of PhD. Um, so PhD, we look for a minimum of a 2-1 equivalent in a bachelor's degree um, or though we do often ask for students of a master's degree but that isn't required. Um, what is most important would be your research proposal. So we'd want you to come to us with an idea of what you want to study um, and then 
contact our admissions team within the doctoral college um, who support our PhD applicants. I'm happy to be your link here as well um, and explain your kind of subject area of interest, your research theses, um, and they can help put you in touch with a potential supervisor who can help you to write your um, research proposal and with your application process. So ultimately the application process is online through our website. Um, so it's a free application and you can just apply, but it is easier if you apply um, with the support of our doctoral college who will help you identify a supervisor. Um, but if you have a look on our website for the subject areas that you're interested in, so for example, if it's business administration, have a look on our business website. Um, for sport and exercise science, have a look on that department one department website and you'll be able to see the subject areas of research for each of our um, researchers, each of our academics. Um, so you can see whether there is anyone researching in the area that you're interested in who may be a potential supervisor for you. Yeah, Murat, so you asked about architecture. We do have um, the Masters of Architecture um, at the university. I'm just finding the link for you now, um, which is um, our postgraduate architecture um, course. So I'll put the link to that in the chat box for you. Um, it's actually a two year course to do a postgraduate in architecture within the UK. Um, so it's, it's not just um, a one year programme, it's always a two year programme. And we would look for a um, portfolio as part of your application as well. Um, and then our architecture degree is REBA accredited. Um, so it has lots of links with um, architecture companies um, to support you, whether you want to stay in the UK or whether you want to go back home afterwards. Yeah, and we've got a question coming about labs. Um, so yeah, we've got all of our different departments have their own labs. Um, so whether you're looking at studying in our School of Sport, Exercise and Health Sciences, they have their own labs focused on their research areas. We've got labs in each of our different engineering departments in each of our schools of sciences. And they're really high tech, really great facilities, a lot of which are used by um, companies for research and development as well. Um, we have our STEM lab, which is open for all science, technology and engineering students, which opened in 2017 um, and was multi-million pounds. So lots of labs. And um, if you have an look on our website again, um, or drop me an email, I can send you some um, video tours of the lab facilities that you're particularly interested in. Yep, yeah, so for references for master's degrees, we look for two references. Um, minimum of one needs to be an academic reference um, for a master's degree. Um, what, both could be academic or one could be a work experience reference. Um, so when you apply through our website, we would ask you for two references. Um, if you don't have those yet, for example, if you're working and you don't want to submit your reference until you have an offer, you can leave that blank um, and get a conditional offer based on your references as well. But before you can be unconditional to study at the university, we would look for two references for a master's degree. For undergraduate students, it's only one reference that we need. So hi everyone, I think, I think I've answered all the questions. I'm just going to put my contact details in the chat box again for you. Um, but also, if ever you lose those, if you Google Loughborough International Office staff, my contact details will come up on there as well. Um, and I will, if you want to speak with me after this, I will pop um, my Calendly link for you to book a one-to-one -one appointment with me um, in the chat box as well.
And so that link is in there. And um, if you have any questions, I'm still still here to answer any questions if you want to put any more in. I think I'm just going back through the, the questions box. I think I answered all of those. Um, but if not, thank you very much for um, joining me today. Um, and it was, yeah, lovely to speak to you. And I hope that some of you are interested in Loughborough um, and would love to speak to you, tell you a little bit more and um, help you with your applications. Yes, thank you very much for the answers. Charlotte, you covered all of the questions. Also, could you please share the link you mentioned before on the chat box? Ah, yeah, was that the architecture link? Um, anyway. um, so that's in the chat box there for you. If there's any other links or if you want to be signposted to any particular areas of our website, I know I said that quite a few times, have a look on our website, then do just tell me which links and I can find those for you. Thank you so much for the great presentation. It was yet another uh, great session with Lockbar University and uh, we believe it was a really informative session for the attendees. And uh, also I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Umarım sizin için de faydalı bir webinar olmuştur. Lafbara Üniversite ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için chat kısmında paylaşılmış olan mail adresinden Charlotte ulaşabilirsiniz. Uh, bir sonraki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Thank you very much again, Charlotte. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you very much for having me. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.